It is a privilege to be here again tonight, and uh, it has been my happy privilege to be here every night in this meeting and last year, and uh, to be here uh, with you all. It's such a wonderful place, and uh, I love for God just to come and finish this meeting in in uh, in His uh, way tonight. I want to thank you so much for uh, your giving and uh, hospitality and all, all you've done. Getting to be with Brother Collins and Sister Collins and even today got to go with him and, and see him in action in, in, the, in the thrift store. And that is, you need to do that if you never did that. You, and uh, that is a blessing. I, I, I enjoyed every, every moment of our time together. <clears throat> And uh, I'd like to preach tonight, for the help of the Lord, I, I feel so uh, uh, insufficient. Uh, I think I know what I, I need to preach, but, you know, human wisdom is so frail that, you know, I may miss it. And I've got something even on my heart, but, you know, I have to keep my heart and check, make sure that it's not deceiving me. So, I'm uh, depending on the Holy Ghost tonight, and, and I really am leaning on the Lord. I want to help you tonight. I want to uh, leave something with you. I've tried to preach from the Lord's anointing every night, and tonight it, I'm just uh, going to try to give you what I feel in my heart. Just uh, It's just a last shot, so I'm just going to kind of... Uh, just try to be sure and give you all of it tonight and load the whole load. And uh, it'll be through here in a little bit. My, my, where's the time gone? Where's the time gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's been a year I was closing this meeting out last year. My, where's it gone? My, my. I, uh, my text is found in the book of James tonight. I know there's lots of other things I need to say, but uh, maybe I can preach to you from my heart. Uh, you'll feel my gratitude and love for you. And, uh, and maybe it'll be enough. Good to see you all here, and uh, we hope you'll help us preach one more time. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? <clears throat> it is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. What is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time. And then vanishes away. Last night on my bed I sought the Lord. And I don't say that to qualify my preaching. But it seemed like I felt the Lord wanted me to preach to you about a little time. Yeah. A little time. For a little time. Yeah, well. What is your life? It is even as a vapor that appears for a little time. My, my, where is the time gone? Should, it, should we marvel, saints, when we have so little time? The Bible tells us 
that our life just appears for a little time. I'm just waiting till you think about that for a minute. And then maybe the Lord will help us. I need to preach to you tonight for a little time. Just a little while. You know, the Bible is so plain on this subject, Brother Corn, and uh, all the men of the Bible talks about our life. And Job said it's like the flower that comes forth and is cut down. He said it was as the grass that withered. As a story, one man said, that is told. It is something how when a story begins, you've got one thing in mind, and that's the end. Oh my, I need to preach to you tonight. What is your life? It is even as a vapor that appeared for a little time. And then vanish away. I uh, I lay last night and thought of this scripture as I thought of this week. No how the time is gone. And it's over now, nearly. Last year was an expectation. It's gone now. And I began to ponder and I look at, at my life and oh, it seems like just yesterday I was just a boy. Go with me a little bit tonight and let me preach to you. I realize that just as a, amen, just a little while ago, it seemed like just yesterday. Amen. As I thought about my life and and uh, thought about the first memories that I had of my my childhood home and the little farm I was raised on and the little white uh, boarded house at the, on the farms in those days and that little farmhouse was my daddy's house when he was a boy. Passed down to him and in the in the family for all those years. Yeah. And that's where I raised my first memories. And, and uh, I remember uh, some of the first memories. Uh, things that come to mind last night as I began to seek God and what to say to you in this last service. And I began to ponder with some of my first memories. Brother Smith was uh, the old house and I just closed my eyes and I don't have the best memory I ever was. But last night it seemed so vivid to me as I laid on my bed and began my eyes were closed and I could still see the old house and I could still see uh, the back porch and, uh, and close my eyes and uh, could see the old hen house and the garden gate and the corn crib, the apple tree in full bloom like I used to love to see it. My mind would go back and I, could, I remembered uh, lying on that back porch. It's an old oak slab back porch. Me and my dogs laying there together in an autumn about like this. Yeah. Pretty sun, late autumn sun shining on my old head as I laid on that oak porch. Oh, yeah. Memory that came back to me last night. I could remember the bees that work in the blossoms somewhere there in Mama's Flower Fence Road. I remember hearing the, the hummingbirds and seeing them work in and out of the rows of sharing bush. Yes. I remember laying there on that old farmhouse porch thinking to myself as a boy about six years old, this is wonderful. I remember rolling a black walnut all over in a knot hole in one of them boards and our little white farmhouse was surrounded by black walnut trees. Mm -hmm. We had a plentiful supply. Now I can remember rolling a little black walnut over in that little knot hole and taking my little hammer and cracking that little walnut, eating those black walnuts, laying there in the sun, thinking this is the life. Hey Amen. It seems like just yesterday. Where is the time gone? It seems like just a moment ago. I talked to a lady in my you're gonna bear with me now, I'm gonna preach a little different tonight. Talked to a lady in our church that's a hundred years old. Had her hundredth birthday. She'll be a hundred and one next month. 
And she said, but Brother Randy, it seems like such a short time. 101 years old. Why, if I'm preaching just a little time. Oh, I wish I could feel you helping me just a little bit. Amen. I remember my first day in school. Oh, I'll never forget it. I loved it. We had to walk a mile, a little over a mile, to the one-room schoolhouse. I remember the first day I ever walked into it, the old up floors. I remember the smell of the chalk dust and the books. Oh, I love the books. I loved, I've always loved the books. I remember that old pot belly stove that sat in the, in the, in the center of the room and just the one room and all the graves. I remember the cloak room, they called it. Well, man, and the wood was stacked in that cloak room to feed. I can remember sitting in that little schoolhouse. I, I loved to go in the wintertime, Sister Collins. They had a mile and a half of a sleigh ride to school. I'd take my coat off and I'd sit on my coat. My brother would grab the sleeves and pull me all the way to school. I loved going to school on that mountain schoolhouse. Amen. I still see the teacher at recess where we go out in the snow and sleigh ride off an old car hood down on the hill. I can still see her coming out shaking the schoolhouse bell. Amen. It's time to come in. I can remember coming in and had no water in the school, carried it from a spring. Had a little water bucket in the dipper and we brought her own little glass. And I remember taking my lunch and taking that old brown sack, pulling that moon pie out of there and holding it up against that pot belly stove till the ice and melted and licking the chocolate off of my moon pie. It seems like just yesterday. I'll be 40 years old next month. Where is the time gone? Where is the time gone? Is anybody helping this preacher tonight? Oh, I, look, I look back here tonight I'm just going to preach like I feel. I ain't worried too much about going over tonight. I just want to preach to you a little. I look back there and I see my bride. And, and I just, my mind went back last night to the first time I ever saw her. She was only 15. I fell in love when she was 15. I was a couple of years older, a mature gentleman of 17. I, she lived down just on the outskirts of town, and I was a mountain boy, lived up on the mountain. I can remember the first phone call I made to her. I remember my heart as it, as it began to uh, lean toward her. And early in life, she was only 15. One of the best investments I ever made uh, was on her 16th birthday. I sent her a half dozen red roses. Oh, what an investment. What an investment. I remember courting her at 15 and I was 17. I remember I was an old country boy and I, I couldn't, uh, you know, express myself like I needed to. I remember we had party lines, you know. Had about four families on that phone line. And I had a friend, an old lady. Me and her were friends. I was raised up on the farm and, and uh, you know, she, she, her husband died. And uh, she left there on that farm, and them old, them old horse team of horses, and, and I volunteered to help her take care of them and so she could keep that team uh, that meant so much to her, you know. And she tried to keep that farm. She wore her apron, an old farm woman, and wore that apron and kept her hammer in one pocket and her steeples in the other, and she'd go patch that fence, and she taught me how to wring a chicken's neck and skin a squirrel. And we were friends and buddies, and I know she listened in on my conversations. <laughs> you couldn't help but tell she 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 breathed real heavy. <laughs> I, I loved her. We were friends. So I didn't get hurt at her because she taught me so many good things about the farm. You know, I used to carry water to her husband in the field when he was cutting her hay. Uh, Cause he called me the water boy. I carried the water in there because he let me ride the team out to, to the watering trough. And I loved to ride that team out. Seems like just yesterday. Huh? 
I remember my, my friend, the old grandma, breathing on the line, and I was trying to tell my wife, uh, you know, or my girlfriend, or, you know, I was trying to express to her my, and my feelings toward her, and she got suspenseful. You remember that? Diana will remember this. I could tell Rose was her name. I could tell she, she was breathing, you know, wanting me to get on with it. And, and in a few minutes, in a few minutes, old Rose said, why don't you just tell her you love her? Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, that's what I did. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you know, you know, that seems like yesterday. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, it seems like just yesterday. Oh, I remember those days, Brother Bill. And it's just a little while ago. Just a little while. Now, honey, you've changed a little, but not much. Really not. She really hasn't. But time has made a change. Our oldest child is 20 years old. Where's the time gone? <laughs> Where's it gone? I'm just going to preach you my heart and let you decide. I want to preach to you. Life is short. Life is short. It's just a little time. Where's it gone? Where? I thought of that farm and that rail fence. I thought of the milk gap in the orchard, the scaly bark hickory grove. My first squirrel with the old sign hammer Remington. I thought it was something else because it was patent in the 1800s. Had an extra long barrel. It could knock a squirrel out. I remember the first squirrel. Seemed like last night I lay on my bed. I could hear it hit the ground. And I, nobody in the woods but me. And I thought, whoop, daddy will like this. <laughs> it seems like just yesterday. Huh? When I was a child, I laughed and wept. Time crept. When I was a youth, I dreamed and talked. Time walked. When I became a man, time ran. As older I grew, time flew. Soon I shall find, while traveling on, time gone. Just a little while. Just a little time. I got to preach to you. I really got to preach to you tonight. Oh, I remember. I remember going in that little one room school. And I remember the books. And it seemed like just yesterday I went to Treasure Island with Tom Hawkins. <laughs> Forgive me, will you? I went to Neverland. And I remember riding down the Mississippi with Huck and Jim. Huh? I stayed in a cave for I don't know how long with Tom Sawyer and Becky Thacker. Huh? Whew, thought I'd never get out of there. Those books were a window to the world, an old mountain boy up on there. It seems like just yesterday. Y'all getting tired? No. I just got to preach to you a little bit more. And, uh, I'm going to preach on, where's the time gone? Just, just a little time. Oh, listen, the psalmist said, teach me to number my days that I might apply my heart to wisdom. Huh? Our life is Oh, I know it. 
I know it, Brother Jimmy Tool. My life is short. But it's sweet. Hear me, hear me. Oh, I can't feel y'all tonight. I know our life is short. Short. But it's sweet. Life is sweet. The brevity of life does not make life less valuable. No, no, no. It makes it more valuable. More. A little girl years ago before modern convenience was doing her schoolwork by candlelight. She was working so hard. Her father said, darling, why are you working so hard? She said, my candle daddy is almost burned out and I haven't got another. Why are you working so hard? My candle is almost burned out and I haven't got another one. Oh, oh, help me preach. Brother White, the old song says, time has made a change in the old home place. Time has made a change in each smiling face. And all my friends can surely see that time has made a change in me. Amen. Amen. I want to preach to us tonight on just a little time. You're here. I'm here. We have but one candle. We haven't got another. Just one life to live, and it will soon be passed. And only that which is done for Christ will last. You're trying to preach you sadness. No, no, no. I'm trying to preach you reality. Many times I take a walk into the graveyard and do my praying. Amen. The tombstones remind me I'm just passing through. Amen. I know the frailty of my flesh. I've been issued some time. I've been given one candle. It is burning down. Amen. Come on now, church. Where y'all at? Amen. I'm preaching on just a little time. Amen. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not nervous now. I want to preach to you. Oh, where's the time gone? Amen. When Russell MacDonald's hair, amen, was dark. Oh, oh, where's the time gone, Brother Todd, when you were a little boy and you was camp and I scared, amen, you into salvation nearly with the white horse rider, praise God. Where's the time gone? Amen. Uh, where is it gone as I, amen, uh, uh, go to the, amen, old home place and it's not the same anymore. Time has made a change. It ought to cause you to look and realize, uh, amen, that old cause life is short. Amen does not mean life is not sweet. Because I want you to notice with me. Amen. He said our life is like the flower. Amen. That uh, is cut down. But oh, where would this world be? Sister Collins, your, your beautiful little home up here. With those flowers around it. Uh, I know they're going to die. They're only for a short time. But oh, how precious. Uh, amen. Those flowers are. Our life is like the grass. But what would this world be? Amen. Without the green grass to carpet. Uh, Amen, our life. Amen, come on and help me preach a little. I know it's short. And I'm not here grieving with you tonight. I'm here. My life has been sweet. As Job said, amen, we live in yesterday. Most of my life is yesterday now. And I have no promise of tomorrow. Amen, my life is short. I realize that. But my life is sweet. And because my life is sweet, it's because of God and the space of time he's given me and therefore looking at the sweetness of life and the fact that we have but one candle a man in it is burning low and we haven't got another and life is short a man that we do have this moment a man and we have a work to do and because time is sweet a 
and life is sweet. Oh, how sweet and how precious the work of life is. Amen. I don't think since we have such a short candle, amen, Brother Smith, I don't think we have time for a quarrel. I don't think we have time, amen, for bitterness. I don't think we have time, amen, help me preach a little, amen, the clock is ticking, amen, we all know it, it's appointed and the man wants to die, amen, what are you doing, oh, where is the time gone, it's just a little time, Jesus knew it, and he said, I must be about my father's business, amen, while it is day, for the night's coming, when no man's to work, we don't have a long to work. Oh, let us get busy. Oh, I'm not preaching like I should. You are. You are. My mind last night went wild. Brother, Brother Collins, I, I remembered the apple tree full of bloom the year I climbed up in it. I just had learned a song in, in school and I climbed up in that old apple tree and laid in its limbs and I sung carry me back to old Virginia <laughs> yeah. amen yeah. where the fields of corn and cotton grow where the birds warble sweet in the springtime amen come on y'all maybe I, I don't what's the Ohio song I don't know amen but I can remember that to this day amen I, I still remember my dear old granny in her cotton gingham dress uh, helping me find hen nests and pick strawberries uh, amen uh, oh hallelujah uh, down a little memory lane uh, amen but can I tell you what it tells me uh, it tells me sister Diana uh, oh sweet Diana uh, amen we cried a lot and we laughed a lot and we shared a lot oh and I remember the first time I said I love you dear and you said I love you too they've been a multiplied blue million times since then oh but can I tell you time is short and those little things that we think go without saying hey man they need to be said are you going to help me preach a little hey man I'll tell you we're waiting for the right time to tell brother Collins Amen, you've been a good pastor. Oh, but you better not wait. Amen, because the sand is running. Amen, through the hourglass. Amen, we come to church and camp meeting like we're going to have another one next year. Amen, but many of us here, amen, tonight may not have another next year. Amen, seek thy creator, remembering in the days of our youth, before the evil day comes and the grinding is low and men go over their long home. Ho, 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 ho. Help me preach a little. It would behoove us to number our days. One to two. Amen. Apply our hearts unto wisdom. And the wisdom would be Brother Davy Bob's. Amen. Take our wives by the hand. Take our children by the hand. Amen. And say, I love you. And let us walk this short race. Amen. Together. Brother Sad. Oh. Amen. Your precious ministry. Amen. It's just a little while, son. And you can cast it in. It's going to be over. Amen. Oh. Help me preach a little. Yet a little while. Amen. Just a little time. Is your life. You young preachers, I love you. Let us survey our lives. Let us begin, amen, consider. First Corinthians 7, the Apostle Paul looked at this, those disciples and the men around him. And he said, brethren, the time is short. Let he that hath a wife be as he that hath none. Huh? That's what he said. You know what he was trying to say? The time's short. The clock is ticking. Put your priorities in order. I feel the Holy Ghost. We have a short time. Hey man, you say, I'm going to live to be a hundred. What did Aunt Janie say in my church? A hundred years is such a short time. 
Huh? I don't think you're on the wagon yet. I'm trying to preach to you. Amen. Just a little time. Just a little while. Amen. Help me preach a little more. Amen. Oh, only one life, brother. Amen. There'll be a day. Amen. Listen to me. Amen. Time is precious and it is short. And only that that's done for Christ will last. That ought to set our priorities. That ought to set our zeal. That ought to set our affection. We ought to look out at the lost world and not say, oh, three or four months and then comes the harvest. But I'll tell you what Jesus said. And he knew the clock, brother. He read the clock well. And from where he was standing, the clock said harvest time. Amen. I want to tell you, amen, one little boy in town square, amen, the clock in the big tower, amen, struck 13 times. Amen, a malfunction in the clock. The little boy always used to count the, the dongs. And he said, Daddy, it's 13 o'clock. Amen, it's later than it's ever been. I want to tell you it struck 13 o'clock. Amen. The evening shadows are lengthened. Amen. The night is coming on. Amen. We're not saved yet. Hey, hey, hey. Look at your life. It was only yesterday. I was a boy preacher. Amen. Now, amen. I am in, amen. The day, man, in the middle time of my life. Amen. And it's going down the other side. It was just yesterday. Amen. I carried water from the spring and watched the cows come home. Hey, it was just yesterday. I picked back hot cherries and fished in West Fork Creek. Amen. But now it's gone. Amen. Where did it go? It's just a little time. It's going through my fingers. It's losing my grasp. Amen. And I must work before the night falls. Brethren, the time is short. I know it's the eleventh hour. Quitting time is an hour away. But he's still hiring servants at the quitting time. That's us. I know it's growing late. Hey man, and only an hour left. But there's still work to do. Why are you working so hard, darling? For my candle. I have but one. I have not another. Are you working tonight? I'm not done. I'm just getting going. Teach me to number my days. Life is precious because of its brevity. We only give a little of it. And what we do in this life will be judged according to the deeds that we have we used. Amen. Our time. Because time is short, it's sweet. But it's also serious. Hey. Hey. Are you enjoying? Are you taking time to smell the roses? Huh? Whatever happened to I love you. I'm sorry. Do you need anything? What can I do for you? I appreciate you. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. It reminds me of a little girl going down a lane with her aged grandmother. Beautiful flowers. They took a path that wasn't trod very often. And the little girl said, Oh, grandmother. Grandmother, I'm going to come back here someday and pick these flowers. And the aged grandmother said, Darling, if you want to pick those flowers for grandmother, you better pick them now. For we may never come this way again. I still don't feel you going with me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wake your mind up tonight. Hey man, and let you see that it's just a little time. Huh? Just a little time. Hey man, 
Not only is it just a little time of life, but the Bible said, for light affliction, which is but for a moment. Work is for us a far more exceeding. What is that old song, Brother Collins, that says, the toils of this life will seem as nothing when I get to the end of the way. But our light affliction <coughs> is but for a moment. I know our lives are short, but they're sweet. Our trials, Brother Shad, they're short. This too shall pass. Our trials, our afflictions, they are but for a moment. All the toils of life will seem nothing when I get to the end of the way. Oh, y'all not going with this preacher tonight. But am I doing any good? Am I, am I helping these folks? I can't hardly tell. Just a little time. I'm glad for that little time. Amen. Oh, I've been through those trials. And some of you are under it right tonight. Amen. But listen, can you hold on for a moment? <laughs> Precious church, can this preacher tell you tonight? Amen. Oh, Brother L.L., I've been through some things. And if I only know, Brother Todd, that it's not going to last much longer, then I can square my shoulders up and, and I can say, well, I think I might. Amen. Can go through this another day. Amen. Because the Bible said, weeping may endure for the night. Amen. But joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Listen, you say, I'm going through great affliction. Oh, and some of you tonight are carrying that heavy load. And I want to say, hang on for a moment. Oh, the trials of this life will seem as nothing when I get to the end. Oh, what burdens, what troubles. Amen. Can I tell you, I wish I could preach to you. I never have been able to, I guess, unload my heart like I feel that I love tonight to preach to you. Amen. Oh, a light affliction which is but for a moment. Amen. I know my life amen seems to be short and it is. Amen. But I look back on my life and those trials and this burden of the gospel and this cross that we bear. But oh, up ahead is yon city. Amen. It's going to be palms of victory and crowns of glory. Oh, help me preach a little. Amen. This is only a short stay here. Amen. Oh, I wish you'd help me preach. Amen. I'm trying to preach to you just a little while. Just a little time. Our trials are only temporary. They're like the clouds that hide the sun. But the sun's forever. Amen. The clouds will pass. And God will live. And you'll live. You'll live forever. You'll live forever. You'll live forever. And those trials will seem as nothing. Only a moment. <laughs> Only a moment. Oh, I'd like to preach to you. Cast not away, therefore, thy confidence, for it hath great recompense of reward. For yet a little while, and he who shall come will come. What did he say? Yet a little while. I think I'll preach on. Y'all not going with this preacher tonight. I told you I'm just going to preach my heart and pack my bags. Praise God. Yet a little while. When's the Lord coming? In a little while. 
What the Bible say? What Hebrews say? When's he coming? In a little while. A little while. I think I'll hold on. He's coming a little while. One man was tending his the the the, the mansion of this master. He'd been gone for years. Didn't know when he was coming back. He was pruning the bushes and, and fertilizing the trees and, and mowing the lawn. And always, constantly, one man said, Why do you work so hard? This man's not been in this home for years. You know, you act like he could come home tomorrow. He said, No, sir. He could come home today. Huh? Yet a little while. How have you got your doctrine? Does it matter? What's on your mind tonight? How much more are you going to invest in this world when he tells you yet a little while and he who shall come will come and shall not tarry. He's coming. Hear me now. Our lives are brief and our trials will be brief and his coming is brief even at the door. Oh, amen. Come on now. You don't have to get a newspaper and read the current events. Amen. To know that Jesus is coming. Amen. I meet sinners on the street. Amen. To say, well, preacher, it can't last much longer. I'll tell you what, it's not going to last much longer. I, can't, I don't know a lot about prophecy. This man could tell you. And he has told you. Amen. And when he gets done telling you, you know what the sum of the matter is? Just a little while. Amen. Don't drive your stakes too deep. Don't invest too much in this world. Amen. Don't get too much in love. Amen. With this. Amen. We're going to move out. Hey, when? Amen. In a little while. Oh, I'm going to preach on. I'm going to tell it right. I'm going to live good. I'm going to cruise to the old rugged cross. How long? Just a little while. It won't be much longer. Hey, lift your hands and say, come quickly. Even so, come. Just a little while. Oh, lift your hands and say, glory to God. Shit on the hook of the hand. Hell on the hook of the hand. Just a little while, Pastor Jewel. Just a little while. Oh, amen. Wow. Us pastors, we got more problems than Carter had liver pills. Huh? Some of them will never work out. Hey man, you got more burdens and troubles in class. You'll never work them out. But if you can hang on just a little while on another Rick Simpson, you won't have to worry about another flat tire, another trailer, another payment, another message, another bill. Hey, hey, I wish I could feel a little enthusiasm. Hey man, our troubles are going to be over in a little while. Our trials are going to be lifted in a little while. It's coming in a little while. How long? Just a little while. Amen. And he who shall come will come and shall not carry. He's coming in the clouds. The meekers are ready. Job. Job got weary with the night. And he said, when, when will the sun come and this night be over? I've been weary with the night. I've tossed as pastor, young pastor. I've tossed the bed. I couldn't keep the sheets on. My wife took big old pins, pinned it underneath the bed just to keep me from ripping the sheet off and kicking it out. Tossed and turned. Amen. Misunderstood and accused. Amen. Trying to preach the holiness gospel. Amen. I felt the Spirit of God time and again. I went to one meeting trying to have some fellowship. Amen. Was was uh, 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 rejected. I went out of that church weeping and crying. Amen. Felt bad. Amen. I didn't feel like I had one friend that I could turn to. I did, but you know how it goes. And I remember going home, falling in the floor of my living room, and said, God, amen, nobody's for me. And God said, Son, to my spirit, all of heaven's for you. And I quickly, my mind went to the scripture where the Bible said, The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. And then it said, They fought 
from heaven. I believe I'll pray on. I believe I'll walk on. I believe I'll fight on. Because it ain't going to be but just a little scrap, just a little way, just a little trial, just a little burden, and it's over. We're out of here. Amen. And the toils of this life will seem nothing when we get to the end of the way. And hear him say, well done, my child. Enter into the joy of the Lord. I will trade the old cross for a crown. The world don't like him, brother Carpenter, but he's my Lord. Amen. He's just commissioned me for a little while. Amen. And I'm going out of here. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I know there's a lot to come upon this world. Amen. But listen, I heard my Lord say, yet a little while, cast not away your confidence, for you have great recompense of reward, for you have the need of patience after you receive the promise. Hey, hey what did he say? Amen. Come on, help me preach a little. Amen. And then he said, yet, yet why you be a little while? It's not much longer. Oh, live holy. Live right. Be faithful. Be true. We're going to pull just a little hit. And it's out of here. To meet our captain. To meet the Lord. And cast our crowns at his feet in a little while. What is our life? It's a vapor that appears for a little time. And it's gone. Oh, I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. My life. It's short. short. Oh, Brother Shad, just yesterday, I was digging taters, carrying them in, huh? cutting corn and shocking it, pitching hay, hearing Mama call, supper's ready. I haven't been to that old home place in five years. Time's made a bad change. Can I cut this off? Hi. Uh, it was about 1.30 this morning when, when I got through with this. The Lord got through with me. I went to sleep. And I dreamed about my daddy. My daddy left my mom after 35 years of marriage. Backslid out of church. And married again. And he's really changed things for us. And uh, last night after this would been on my heart all night. I dreamed about my daddy. And he, he, I thought of the dream.